What's your name, where are you from, and why are you here today? Um, I'm, my name is Joseph Whipple. Uh, I'm from here, and I'm here off of work just now. I'm Angel Brown, and I, uh, I also live here, and I am picking up him from work <laughs> to go home. So you guys are local to Vegas? Yes. Absolutely, yeah. All right. So what do you think of Nevada having just legalized marijuana? Oh, it's wonderful. Awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. Very really wonderful. awesome. I actually uh, trim weed at, for a living. So, yeah, it's very awesome. You know, has there been any other, like, bigger changes associated with this for people here in Las Vegas? I don't, I really couldn't say. I'm really new to the area now. Um, um yeah, I see uh, things like uh, flyers with pictures of weed and stuff that you would never think you would see out in public out in public and it's just really awesome uh, people learning about the dispensaries and learning about where they are and stuff so you see a lot of those out here a lot of advertising uh, and that's a big change all right so here's a hard question now what's your favorite part of government oh. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> the parts that say we can doubt it <laughs> and and abolish it anytime we wish. Uh, the part that allowed weed, I can't see too many pluses about the, this is the part that doesn't exist, right? The part that the, the thing that the thing that doesn't do anything, that's what we like. Yeah, generally, yeah. So I mean, you sound you sound pretty adamant in your beliefs. You, you, there's nothing nothing that you think makes government worthwhile. Um, well, maybe. Maybe if our vote actually counted and it wasn't all it left to electoral votes and everything, uh, yeah, maybe. I love the idea of democracy, you know, the idea of it, but we don't really have much of what it was supposed to be, it seems. So if government were, were localized, like down to the community level, do you think your vote would be more relevant? It, it, would, it would be more in line with people's needs? Definitely would be Absolutely. more relevant. Like with marijuana, for example, you guys wouldn't have to be fighting federal law. You could just decide for yourselves here, right? Uh, they should let the states decide, yeah, within reason, of course, you know. Yeah, well, let me ask you a harder question then. What's your favorite thing about Donald Trump? Is he, is he, we have to look on her face. <laughs> It's so hard. You guys are like you're backing yeah. up. These questions are so hard. You can't take it. One right there. Yeah. All right. All right. I do admire his moxie. It takes a lot of guts to do what he's doing. Regardless, there's got to be. I couldn't be the only one that felt this way. And regardless, he still is standing up there, strong and proud. So I admire that in a person. <laughs> Seriously. He looks stupid twenty times, but still comes up there. Yeah. I appreciate the kind-hearted nature of your attempt to answer that question well. All right, so do you think this country would just be better off if, if we didn't have the federal government at all, if we didn't have a president, if states were independent and allowed to make decisions for themselves? I've often thought about that, actually. Yes, yes, uh, community per community, you know, absolutely. Yeah, I think so, too. I think the smaller the group, the easier to make laws and rules and whatnot. You know, you get bigger and everything's generalized. They don't count for the singular person or the singular situation, you know, so, you know. So if you could vote, if you had a chance in, in the next presidential election and you could vote for a Democrat or Republican or you could vote for none of the above and we just, in a peaceful, orderly, you know, responsible way, administratively, we get rid of the federal government, we end up with 50 independent states, would you guys vote for that? Oh, yes. Hell yes. Yes. Would. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you guys keep saying yes. <laughs> unity, unity is great. One day I wish like the whole world would like come together, right? But right now, yeah. See, we, it's just too many variables, usually very rich variables. And we, we, we unified in peace and cooperation rather than forced under one government, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Well, I have some really good news for you. I'm running for president in 2020, and my platform is dissolving the federal government. So I don't, I, I don't, we normally just go different places with these interviews, but that's me. That's my cell phone number, and we'll have this interview up on our website within a month or so. I'm running for the Libertarian Party nomination. Oh, hell you yeah. Know, all right, so you, you guys familiar <laughs> with the Libertarian Party? Yeah. Uh, yes. Are, are you Absolutely. active here at all with it? Because they, they have a great organization in Nevada. No. Felon. Nope. Well, I'm a felon, too. Yeah. You know, it's funny, because I live in Arizona. 
and I'm, I'm not allowed to vote for myself, but I'm allowed to run for president. Whoa. But as, as, a, as a felon, it, it doesn't matter whether you vote or not, you can have way more of an impact as a political activist where you can sway hundreds, thousands of votes and have a bigger impact on how people think about these things than, than one person going and voting anyway, right? So I hope you guys would consider getting involved because the Libertarian Party is the only one that's based on these principles of you getting to make these decisions for yourselves because you own yourself. That's, that's the fundamental principle behind the party. We oppose the use of force for political or social goals. Anything that we want to achieve as a society has to be done peacefully and voluntarily for it to be legitimate. So thanks for hearing me out, guys. Appreciate it very much. I'll see you on the internet. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain based solutions including DTube and you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.